So what are we doing this winter? We are redoing the frame. Uh, I'm gonna start on the actual bed uh, shortly. Uh, pretty much got the frame all um, treated with Eastwood stuff. Got some little, little details to take care of, all the little hangers and stuff like that to put on. Um, touch up some stuff. Uh, I may pull off the shock absorbers and get them cleaned up and painted. Got the back of the cab finally done uh, presentable. But uh, come on along and see what I'm doing. Winter project has begun. Now that I've got the bed off, I think the next thing is to finish up the back of the cab. Of course, when I hung this, I had the bed on, so I couldn't really do any finishing down here. Um, a little bit of metal finish work down here. And uh, then the lip uh, on the bottom of the cab. Okay, I have to fold that over and finish it. Uh, this seam is going to take some finishing. Um, go ahead and take this opportunity. I'll have to take the seat out again. But uh, I want to get this as nice as I am capable of. Uh, next, getting these off, uh, wire brush and treat the frame, uh, using some of the Eastwood stuff that everybody else is using. Uh, let's see, um, this rear bracket. I have two replacement brackets, that one's bent. I'll um, take the opportunity to do that. Um, uh, yeah, that's basically gonna be the project. When I get that done, <clears throat> I can move the truck outside and then bring in the bed pieces and uh, start repairing bed pieces. Okay, I am not a body man, but i um, gotten these two pieces welded pretty good here, and uh, they're pretty flush there. Uh, just uh, gonna fill in just a little bit uh, with the window. Uh, just a word about this seam here. Of all the pictures that I've seen, this is not welded together. I guess you can, you know, if you want to make a pretty truck. Um, there is supposed to be a lip underneath here. My thought is that's just another place to catch mud and water and crap, so no lip there. Um, but this is a good seam. Uh, if some fabulous uh, body man wants to come along after me and make it beautiful, nah, go for it. Okay, this is the back <coughs> of the cab. And uh, this is the back, this is the bottom. I'm looking up from underneath. Finally got this seam welded up. Uh, now that I've got space that the bed's not here, so I welded it. I uh, wasn't really concerned about it looking good because nobody's ever gonna see this with the uh, bed on it. So, um, put some of the rust converter after I welded it. Then kinda flap disc all the high spots. Next, I'm gonna use this stuff, uh, whatever sealing stuff each time. Uh, 
smooth it all out, paint it real good. And hopefully that'll be protected from rust um, as long as, as long as I own it, as long as anybody cares about this vehicle probably. Let's say how much I hate bodywork. So far, just uh, Bondo, 80 grit. Um, get some uh, some more primer on here and see if we can go up to 120 grit. Uh, and I'm still not satisfied with the back of the cab, but uh, it may be good enough to move on. I'm starting to uh, work on the back frame cleaning, de-rusting. I have chosen this stuff, which is not the platinum, but uh, I think it'll be perfectly adequate. Um, had this discussion with the guy. I'd like to make this truck last another 70 years, as it's 70 years old. Well, geez, uh, it was abused over those 70 years uh, abandoned, uh, left outside. I um, doubt that's going to happen from now on. So this is probably going to last a hundred years. Now, whether we actually have gasoline at that point, that's another issue altogether. But yeah, you have uh, <clears throat> Eastwood rust encapsulator, a thumbs up. Goes on like thick paint, which I guess it is. And this is only the um, plus, not the platinum. I think it's going to be quite adequate. Thank you very much. A bad disassembly is this brace, and it is stuck as tight as it can be. It's a big old bolt. Big old bolt going through the, the frame. Um, Heat cutting it off, smashing it, uh, PB blaster, so far nothing. Gonna go with uh, the trusty old half inch drill and uh, see if I can drill down far enough through there without destroying stuff. I got it off with the saw blade, but uh, still have it on the end of the supports. Uh, is causing me problems. These bolts are still rusted frozen in here. So I'm gonna go back to using a masonry bit and see if I can drill through through that uh, at least halfway, get it knocked out. Yeah, finally got one of these out. Uh, drill about half an inch, three quarters of an inch in there. Uh, and then Smacking the crap out of it. Finally got that one out. Now, got to get the other side out. But not until I had to drill the entire hole out. <sighs> yep, basically one entire day to get this loose, get the stuck bolts out, and um, Give it a paint with the Eastwood. And this last cross member, I have discovered the proper way of doing this. Normally these are stuck up. I just took a sledgehammer, smacked the crap out of that, and that has loosened that up. So the rest of it should go oh, hard. I did that on both sides. So I should not have that bolt stuck in the middle like the other ones were. Got to empty my fuel tank that I uh, so diligently filled up before I start driving it. Um, yeah. Fun time.
thanks, Brian. I was able to find the uh, correct hand throttle shaft and everything. It's, it's not connected uh, to the carburetor yet, to the actual linkage. I got to figure that out. Probably have to um, fabricate something. But at least I got this with original knob. Okay, so what do you do with all those uh, wire clips on the frame? They're all rusted away. Uh, the rubber is all long gone. You make your own. Um, I dip this first straight and now I'm gonna dip it a second time. I'm using a seen on TV flex seal. And I think a couple of coats is gonna be fine. I'm gonna let that kind of drip off and then hang it up and um, I'll hang it up to dry for probably 48 hours. Pretty good layer of rubberized stuff on there. Let it just drip off and, and uh, harden. And I'll cut it and uh, drill a hole and use it that way. So here's an example of uh, what I've been making. And uh, I'm not sure exactly what's going to go where because we have one here. One on the side was riveted. There's also one on the bottom, which was bolted, so I don't know what the difference is. But uh, it's rubberized. You can bend it around, do anything you want to with it. Uh, I think it's going to work just fine. Alrighty. I have two rivets missing from this cross member. I don't know what kind of strain it was under, twisting, whatever, but uh, it was being a man. Uh, what I've chosen, you, you can you can get those rivets and put them in yourself, but I I don't think um, I want to bother with that. Um, it's a heck of a lot of work, and you got to have special tools and everything. Button screws could put them in the top. And I think I'm going to put them on the bottom because if anybody's going to look. We'll see a little round nubbin underneath here. Um, but that's how I'm going to put this together. Like that. There it is. Maybe the worst part of the truck. Um, and it's common. The way this frame is made with a slab insert in there. Water gets in there and rusts it and pulls it apart. Um, what I'm going to do. on this side is weld a piece along here and that will provide the strength that is missing uh, with that rust in there. I think that's going to work just fine. So there's the preliminary fitting of the piece. I'll have to do some trimming and a lot of cleaning and all that kind of stuff. So stay tuned.
So I think this is gonna be a nice stout repair. There's one the other side that was so bad. I, uh, I repaired that um, and everything has been uh, rust encapsulated. So I think this is going to be just fine. Back on the winch, I have got, uh, got the unit broken down uh, out of the frame. Um, gonna clean up that shaft, see if I can get that apart. And uh, uh, I have, uh, I was kind of waiting on all new bolts. Um, grade eight, half inch, um, 20 threads per inch uh, bolts are a little bit hard to find. So uh, I think I have what I need. So I'm gonna start tearing this all down and cleaning stuff and uh, I'll let you know step so by step. The uh, middle part of the shaft um, where the reel was, uh, it's got a lot of rust and crap on it. The bearing surfaces I think are okay, but um, just got to use a cocktail of stuff, let it soak, and then come back and clean it up again. Okay, so I've got, got it pretty much disassembled here. Uh, I wanted to say a few words about the bronze gear. This is obviously worn. There is a limit to what is safe, and I believe that is 3 16 width. Um, which this is barely there. Um, so this is not gonna be like brand new, but uh, if I baby it, it should be okay. Uh, inspect it well, make sure there's no broken teeth, cracks, etc., etc., etc. Otherwise, these things are freaking expensive.